To the undiscerning eye, it is a mouse that scuttles by. But I hasten to inform you that you may have seen a shrew. Now, how does one know if one is looking at a shrew? Well, yes, I am an expert, but you can do it too. You see, there is one distinctive feature of this endearing little creature. The shrew has a long and wiggly nose. And I don't suppose this audience knows why the shrew grows such an elongated nose. Well, I shall tell you. You see, when it is snuffling and is shuffling through the leaves, it makes a rustling, which sends all the insects bustling for anywhere to hide. And a crack, crevice, or hole seems a pretty safe goal to an insect's very simple eye. However, the shrewd shrew knows that his clever, flexy nose will get each little one by surprise. So without one jot of concern, the shrew will now approach each hiding place in turn. It will step up to the target and push in its nose, and push it and push it as far as it goes. Now the shrew's nose can handle any bend, and the other design feature are the whiskers on the end. These whiskers are not short and sharp and prickling, but rather they are feather soft and perfect for tickling, and tickle them it does up and down and round, it tickles all those little bugs hiding in the ground. Now, what good does that do, you may wish to ask me? Well, the shrew is a master of insect psychology. You see, a cornered insect, when tickled by a snout, obviously, desperately, wishes to get out. It is giggling and it is wriggling when it thinks it sees a gap, so it goes running out under the nose Chomp! Straight into the shrew mouth trap. Yes, I'm afraid so, the fearsome shrew mouth trap. However, is this really why the shrew's nose is so? Well, I could say yes, but I should not profess to know. You see, I'm a scientist. My conclusions must be dreary, and I must categorically state that this is merely, only, just a theory. Nevertheless, I do wish to stress that I have presented you with a very highly educated guest.